and good evening sports fans. Coaches and administrators attached to the Ministry of Sports have been given the opportunity to improve on their skill set. This is they participate in a three-day workshop facilitated by Dr. Leisha Strawn from the University of Winnipeg in Canada. Project Score is a free resource for coaches, teaching them about positive youth development through sport. So how to create more positive spaces for kids in sport while they're participating and thinking also of a more intentional and deliberate way of building positive skills for kids. Day one was used to identify current schemes and techniques being employed by the participants while expanding on the importance of coaching. Will until. Tomorrow we'll really get into the elements of Project SCORE, so the four C's of Project SCORE, which are confidence, competence, connection and character, and thinking about how we are intentionally doing those four C's within sport. And then I'm hoping, fingers crossed, on day three that we'll have a chance to apply those four C's with a team. So I think we're going to have some kids come to the soccer field, we'll have some coaches kind of take them through a, a basic soccer practice, but have the coaches um, in groups think about before, plan a little bit about what they um, are going to do in order to build a specific C in that practice and then deliver that to kids and just see how that would work and then we have a chance to reflect on that after. Dr. Strawn, who is of Grenadian parentage, is hopeful that the session will impact positive change. And, um, I just always thought that there's so much potential here in Grenada for sport, um, sport development. You know, we, you guys are very fortunate to have had some really high performance athletes who put Grenada on the map. And so we really want to, I, I think, you know, given my expertise and the things that I've studied, I really want to just be able to give back uh, to Grenada and to their sports system here and think about how we can uh, think of a different way of building kids through, through sport in Grenada. Santos FC and Tivoli Lions FC played to a three-all draw, while Hartford Village Revivers got the better of Idler Sports Club last evening in the SAFL. The match was, in fact, a tale of two halves. This is what happened. So Santos took charge of the first 45 minutes with a 2-1 to one advantage at the half. However, as the game played out, the Lions clawed their way back despite a third goal by Santos. They did enough to settle for a draw at the end of 90 minutes. Then Santos' Keston Williams was awarded the Man of the Match title for his, for his minute assist, along with his 26th and 89th minute goals to complete his brace on the evening. Meanwhile, Hartford Village Revivers came away with a 4-1 win over Idlers. Nishan Smart found the back of the net in the third minute and then again in the 35th to earn the Man of the Match award. West Indies suffered a series-defining loss in the second one-day international against Sri Lanka as they again went down by five wickets on Wednesday. The defeat, which resulted from another disappointing batting performance, saw Sri Lanka taking an unassailable 2-0 lead in the three-match series, leaving the Caribbean side with mere hopes of salvaging pride in the final game on Saturday. After a dismal batting collapse that saw the West Indies at a shocking 58 for 8, the rain-affected contest was reduced to 44 overs per team. It was an historic ninth wicket partnership between Sherfane Ruthford and Gudakesh Moti that added a glimmer of respectability to their total. The pair put together 119 runs, the highest ever ninth wicket stand in West Indies ODI history. With Rutherford smashing four sixes and seven fours in his 82 balls knockout, while Modi's maiden ODI half century came off 61 balls and included six boundaries as they lifted the side to 189. However, the damage had already been done by Sri Lanka's disciplined bowling attack, which, led, which was led by spinners Wenindu Saranga and Mahish Thikshana. Seamer Asitha Fernando had three for 35. And that's what's been happening in the world of sports.